Hello everyone, my name is Cristian Negulescu and today we'll talk about uh, big data on the Salesforce connector lightning platform. So, what's the idea? You know the connector, you have hundreds of, uh, more than 100 activities. And now the latest update has support for big data. What means big data? So a lot of customers want to put a lot of data in the in the Salesforce. When I say a lot of data, I mean it's 10,000 uh, recordings on one activity. Yeah. So uh, to be able to to do this stuff, I had uh, a support for big data. So you'll be able to add uh, data. You are able to delete. Uh, 10,000 uh, 10, elements from uh, one activity, you are able to update, to upset, and so on. Let's understand how this is working. Let, let's say that we want to add some data on, on Salesforce. So again, inside of the, test, uh, the Salesforce, test, uh, Salesforce application scope, you will test the connection. You will select your object for my, in my case, account. And then I will provide him so I can provide him a, a CSV file. It's not necessary to be a CSV file. There are multiple ways, so I will use this one. So the system will take the data from this uh, CSV file and he will update, upload this data to, to Salesforce. In this case, he will do an add. Now, you can see here on the input, you are able to provide him a CSV file or you are able to provide him a data table. So you can have your uh, Excel file or other uh, other data you come with the data table and you provide him the data table and the system will analyze to see exactly what um, what items he will put on salesforce let's see how this uh, these files are working yeah so if i want to add for example in case of account I, uh, the mandatory stuff are name industry currency billing so if I give him this data, he will be able to add all this. I can put here 10,000 elements. Yeah? If I want to update, I need to specify the ID. So I would specify all the columns or what I want, but I need to specify all the ID. If I want to delete something, I need to specify again the ID. So based on the ID from Salesforce, I will be able to delete. In case of absurd, you are you need to... Um, uh, to use an external idea. So basically, the upset is if he will find some data, he will do an update. If he will not find the ID, he will do an add. Okay, let's understand the procedures here. So inside of the, um, uh, the connector, here you have the, um, the add, uh, uh, so inside of the element, you'll be able to provide the data table, the file, or the file name. You'll provide the, uh, the object. And here you have the type of action. So you can have um, this one can uh, can do. So you say wait for response. Wait for response means that the robot will arrive to this point. He will send the data to the to the Salesforce servers, and then he will wait until this data will be processed. This depends if you give him 10,000 elements could take minutes or 10 minutes or more, yeah? So you have the option to wait and remain blocked on this one, or you have the option to just upload. So this function will take the, the file, the, 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 the data table or the CSV file, upload it to Salesforce and send a command to the, to the server. And the server will process this, yeah? Now, to see, to see exactly when it's ready, you can have this check ID status. So basically this one, you can see that this one can return a data table result if you use the uh, wait until the result. And here you'll have all the result with um, um, what lines are added or what uh, lines are have errors. This will return an ID. <laughs> it's a job ID. And this job ID, you can use it here. And you can interrogate how you want the Salesforce system to see if this job ID, it's finished, upload is complete, and so on. Or in this, this one return also the response in a valid connection. After you, in the in the case of um, just uploaded, you can put on while, 
check when the status is full and when the status is uh, fully upload uh, you will have another function here with get results so again with the same job id you will be able to see the results of your action so that's the idea you have two two options just to upload and enable the robot to do other stuff or wait for response and the robot will be blocked until the the server will do all the uploads and you have here the, resp uh, the result so in this way you can work with thousands of elements with um, your salesforce instance in the future we'll have here a wizard very powerful wizard that will be able to analyze the data and we'll have also the get thank you very much have a good one bye bye